A very good morning, gentlemen. I'm Kunal, the CEO of Pegasus Computers. Pegasus has been regarded by the Greeks as the horse god. And in a similar way, our company also has been the god for the robust segment of the market by giving them everything that they need. Apart from the workers, we have also targeted the traveler segment, which is a very niche market. But what is it that distinguishes us from our competitors? Well, it's the three P's. Performance, the profit, and the people. We have a team of young and highly passionate entrepreneurs from engineering, business, economics, and even ADM. <coughs> we are the only company whose market share has doubled from quarter three to quarter four with a projected ROI of over 500 million and a valuation of the company of 29 million at the end of two years. It is definitely a profitable deal for, for you venture capitalists to invest in our company. And together, we can see the golden horse take flight and live in the success together. Thank you. Hi, uh, good morning gentlemen. I'm Min Zi from Vice President of Pegasus Computers Private Limited. Okay, uh, Today I'm giving you an introduction on our company. Firstly, the mission of our company is to provide our customers with the latest technology and uncompromising service at attractive prices. And our vision is to make cutting-edge technology available to all users across the board. Okay, the company structure is under our president, Kunao, followed by the five, president, five vice presidents, which is uh, William, Zeng, Chinpei, Le Xuan, and myself. Okay, we, are, we are currently looking at launching three products into the next financial quarter, which is Pegasus Gallup, Pegasus Zyphere, and Pegasus Innova, namely for the workforce, traveler, and innovator segments. These are the components that we will be installing into our products, which are well received by the markets and also top of the range for them. Let's look at the past demand. The past demand for our quarter three was quite disappointing, but however, we readjusted our uh, strategy, and for quarter four, we managed to make inroads into the market demand for traveler and work costs. The market demand was right, rose a total of 800 from 178 to 978, a five-fold increase. Okay, let's look at our competitor analysis. There's a strong competition in the United States where there's at least five com competitors competing with us directly for traveler and work costs. Therefore, we decided to make inroads into Brazil, Canada, and China. However, we also have two sales officers in Europe, but we are not focusing on them now as the major players are targeting this market heavily because of the huge segment of innovators and Mercedes over there. I'll pass on to Chinpei to tell you all about the SWOT analysis. Thank you, thank you, Mingzi. So, let us look at the strength of our company. Our products pricing are highly competitive and we have uh, achieved the pricing judgment of 100. So, the result of total demand was in excess of our total production. Our brands are well received and also recognized by the customer union. However, because of the amount of investment we spend on R&D and expansion, we have compromised our advertising. At the same time, we also expand our offices in Brazil, so we have a large unexplored potential market. But we do continue facing a increasing competition. That's the expansion plans. Ultimately, our company aims to strive and in a profitable Mercedes and workforce segment. So we took on a rapid expansion approach. We got the fact that we see that we open 60 sales officers and we tend to double the number of sales officers in quarter 7 to 16. Initially, we targeted the workforce and traveler segment, so we focused our sales in the United States and Europe where the market size is the largest. For quarter 5, we went on into the Brazilian market by opening 3 sales officers there. We aim to be the pioneer in the region and we also intend to invest heavily in R&D by having a strategic alliance with other companies. With this, we are confident that we can overtake if not at least match up to two market leaders. For further expansion purposes, we also expand into the China market. But more importantly, we will intend to introduce our new product, Pegasus Innova, into the innovator segment. With this move, we will duplicate our sweet penetration into the Mercedes segment in quarter 7. By quarter 6, we will have fully developed our Brazilian market by opening up the last sales office in South Polo. And with the, with the then sufficient and advanced R&D and production capacity, we will be able to introduce the Pegasus swap into the Mercedes segment in quarter 7. So from quarter 7 onwards, we will shift our focus to developing new and better products for the Mercedes segment. So now I will pass on to Lashen to share with you the profitability of our strategy. Thank you, Shukri. I will cover the financial figures. Um, for the 
With the accumulation of quarter eight, our company is valued at a profitable 29 million. Um, with an offering of 30% of our company shares, our company share price is expected to hit $500, $500 um, by the end of quarter eight. The following table summarizes our profitability. With, rising, um, with a rising net income over the next four quarters, our net profit margin, ROI and ROE, it will, hit, will hit sky high in quarter eight, leading to a, cum a cumulative ROI of 516%. To sum things up, a 5 million capital injection in quarter five will generate a 7.74 million of investor profits in quarter eight for you. 40% of company shares that you will get um, not 30, not 40, but 50% increase in the returns. Thank you. Um, <coughs> sorry, can you go to the slide where you, your stages of expansion into the various uh, geographical locations? Okay. So the amount of money that you're asked is um, have you all taken into consideration of the amount of money that's going to be spent on expansion and also hiring of the sales force and also the amount of money that's going to be spent on R&D um, you have a rough figure of how much is meant for this sales expansion and how much is meant for the R&D part we have allocated around 3 million for our R&D uh, it's relatively cheap because we have went into a strategic alliance with other groups, so we kept the cost down, but um, with more R&D functions. Um, for yeah. sales expansion, we are we intend to produce more, so our sales production will definitely hit more than three million. Okay. And the next um, plus, uh, <coughs> before we look up the medical first, <laughs> and before we consider the investors' <coughs> uh, investment, we are we need about three million investment. Hmm. But if we can get 5 million, we can go for even more iron. Even more expansion. Okay. Any questions? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.